A far field measurement is performed to determine the emissions sent out by our device under test. Unfortunately, this gives us no clue as to the component which causes these emissions. The ESA-1 development system of disturbance emission helps us find out more about the source. It includes a shielding tent and numerous accessories. Electronics developers can use the development system of disturbance emission as a tool to determine and eliminate emission sources in the device under test at their workplace. The shielding tent provides an interference-free space directly at the developer's workplace. The device under test can be operated inside and its emissions measured. The device under test sends out RF currents that are coupled out with the current transformer in a confined measurement setup. We use a spectrum analyzer for the measurement. The current transformer supplies the device under test with auxiliary power. At the same time, the emissions generated by the device under test are coupled out via the current transformer. The current transformer contains an instrument transformer which detects these emissions and transmits a measurement signal to the spectrum analyzer via a pre-amplifier. The HFA-RF bypass is connected to the device under test instead of cables, for example. This simplifies complex setups. The RF bypass is generally connected to the device under test opposite the RF current transformer. We can see strong emissions in the range between 20 and 100 MHz. We save the measurement curve using the ChipScan ESA software. This is another of our company's products. Thanks to this software, we can record, annotate, save and visualize any number of measurement curves of a spectrum analyzer and thus compare them quickly and easily. We use near-field probes to pinpoint the source of interference on our device under test. The scope of delivery comprises magnetic field probes of different sizes and orientations and electric field probes with different coupling electrodes. The switching converter is the emission source in our example. We shield parts of the switching converter with adhesive copper tape and can recognize a drop in the measurement curve on the spectrum analyzer in the second measurement carried out with the ESA. We save this curve too and color it red with the ChipScan ESA software to facilitate comparison. This shows that the emissions were successfully reduced by 20 decibel. The ChipScan ESA software and development system of disturbance emission allow us to perform measurements directly at the workplace with a minimum of effort and costs. We can launch a targeted search for emission sources and test countermeasures to see whether they are effective.